guys asked me to do all these impressions. Um, now I talked to my wife Michelle and uh, my daughter Sasha. Believe it. But, uh, we all getting tired of all these requests. Uh, I'd like to go back to talk about the music, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, even Obama's down with the right for real. Yeah. Yeah, well, so, one day after the San Diego show, we are back in the PHX at a spot called Inspire. Inspire is right in the middle of the art district in Phoenix. So, as you can see, it's pretty artsy around here. Um, this year, I am I, which is an $80 uh, thing. Um, which looks really dope. Uh, it's going to be outside, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves. Actually, Shay, if you want to step into the, uh, the camera. Do the thing, do the James Brown. Into the What's happening, bro? This is hey, Shay. I'm in charge right? of uh, events here at Inspire, so yes, we're going to get the calendar. So, what are we doing tonight? We're just trying to raise people's consciousness. Actually, tonight is an event um, designed to build awareness around the fact that uh, I'm uh, heading up a youth arts program. I've got a grant to do some youth arts that's tied to urban agribusiness. And um, so we're going to be breaking ground here in a couple of weeks on a garden that will stretch from 5th Street to halfway to 6th Street um, and allow us to raise fresh produce for the vegan cafe and fresh fruit for your smoothies. Nice. And also just teach the gardening trade to um, a whole different generation. We're going to have the kids come out and do the instruction. So, about that. And so we're just trying to build awareness and build some momentum and raise a little bit of money for that program and uh, just have a good time and, and, and support each other as a community. That's what it's about. That's going to be dope. Alright. Well, it should be a fun time. So uh, stay tuned. Love response thing. I'm, I'm also a teacher, so I like to get a lot of feedback. So if I ever, oh, give it up for teachers, feel free. Yeah. A teacher taught you something. Now, uh, we're going to do some call and response, and I want y'all to be so loud that like they hear you downtown. All right. When I say hip, you say hop. Hip. Hop. Hip. Hop. When I say woke, you say stop. Woke. Stop. Woke. Stop. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Now, I have a wireless mic for a reason is because I want to come out to the people. So I have to get out here in order to have the most fun with it. So. Peace out, y'all. That's my time. My name is Random Big Red. Thank you. Thank you so much. I got CDs too. Come show love. I appreciate that. Yeah, so now we're at uh, Power 98.3. About to do the Pulse radio show with the show and Yaya Martinez. Um, Writers Guild is in this place, minus Mr. Miranda, who's uh, absent. But we're working on some new stuff. We're going to play some good music. Maybe spit a little something. It'll be fun. Myself. The rest of the gang's in there, so I'm going to get on my All right, so that was a good intro for the Writers Guild who are in the building tonight. Let's go down the road, explain who you are and what it is that you do. Oh, I'm random. <laughs> like, I didn't know which direction I'm just going here. There. I'm just here doing I'm just stuff. hanging out. I'm random. I just I hang around all these really dope MCs and they make me look cool. And a poet. That's, that's, that's what I do. Alright, Rocky. Rocky Tawe, Blue Millennia, man. Oh, Q Y T Y O B Y D, you know. I'm gonna fit to the situation. So Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I'd be, be Pennywise, the kid, the MC, you know what I'm saying? In the cut, as usual. Yeah. <laughs> what up, what up? No stranger to the post. Big Rock, a.k.a. Rock Knowledge Rock in the building. Knowledge, a.k.a. We're also repping for the homie, uh, Mr. Miranda, a.k.a. Cool oh, Dave, where is, where a.k.a. Gorgeous Dave. 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 Self-proclaimed you know, Gorgeous Dave. Gorgeous Dave. <laughs> Dave's night, night. What? Where did that come from? He self-proclaimed oh, it? Uh, just, you know, he's a stylist. Studio one banter? He's a stylist one of the group. Yeah. He's a stylist uh, one. Uh, you know, he's a stylist one of the group. Make sure his hat tilted to the right a little bit. Make you know? a bigger national level. I'm not talking about just Arizona fame. All right? Let's be real about it. So what do you what are you guys' plans to make this, to take this national? You know we just um 
just putting out good music. You know, we just dropped the single "Gotta Go" on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's getting some love on the blog sites. You know, mm -hmm. we just push the good music out there, and you know, the, I, I think the folks are going to come to it. The response has been dope so far in house. You know, in state. So. Right. I have no reason to believe otherwise that it won't yeah, be the same yeah, outside the state. Trying to make good music, and the five of us individually all bring something different to the table. Right. Yeah, definitely. So, and, and, and oddly enough, it, it works. Like, the, the, the chemistry's there. Like, the songs come together real fast. Right. When we're in the studio, and... You wouldn't even know that I hate all of them. You wouldn't know. I was about to beat you to the punch. <laughs> Y'all are going to do some making the band stuff right now in my studio, and I don't appreciate uh, that. You wouldn't even know that. So all is well in the land of Writers Guild, and honestly, I couldn't be happier. Uh, they rocked the show, but I was out of town. But they killed it. Nothing but great reviews, man. I'm just ecstatic about Writers Guild. Meanwhile, I had to take a trip back to my hometown, which, as most of you should know, is Philly. Had a couple gigs I had to do. Also going to meet up with Kay Murdoch and hit Maryland for a show. So this should be interesting. Mix. Unruled original next roast beef. Roast. Well, Random is back in Philly. Some of you Mega Ran is back in Philly. His birthplace, his homestead. And it's raining cats, dogs, lizards, snakes, and birds. It only rains. It seems to happen every time I'm in town. Every time you come. It's kind of crazy. So you need to have to talk, you know, in person. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to talk in person. What talk? Well, the talk is I haven't told my mom yet about my uh, decision to just make music full time and, and not teach. This is blackmail material. You know this, right? Oh no, he has. Oh, have, have we um, put the setting where we are? We are at Nick's famous roast beef. Yes. I don't see any like sign around, but 28th and Jack. Right in the heart of South Philly. This is a Philadelphia landmark. You know what I'm saying? A South Philly landmark, anyway. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. It is. It is. It's been here for years. It's famous. It's been here for years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I understand that Food Network was here. They did some uh, some taste testing and it, it tested out all right for them. So I figured it was good enough for us. I, I'm in love with South Philadelphia anyway. They, were, they know that. You know what I'm saying? My mom used to teach down here for almost 30 years. Uh, I used to go to church down here for about almost 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So My mom South is like scared to death of South Philly. <laughs> so I tell her I'm going to South Philly. Why are you going to South Philly? Got some fries coming up. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. Yo, what happened to those promos that me and Rachel did for This is Rosie. Yo, I still got them on my computer. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what to do with them. Like, I didn't want to put them on the internet and totally embarrass us, but Chuck bought a replica wrestling belt. How much was that? $275. $275. Did you have a job at the time that you purchased that? I didn't want to go there. <laughs> I didn't want to go there. I did. His mother was pissed that he bought this two hundred seventy-five dollar wrestling belt and he's unemployed. So but that you know, was pissed off. We all have our things. Man, I'm not trying to save his money. And he takes his money to talk to me. So we bought the belt and we just we cut all these crazy wrestling promos in my apartment. That was pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I've been, I've been coming down to the rail for a minute now, so he already took me up, so I was I was letting it wolf a little bit just so I could wait till I got back so he could take care of me. What's up, you know, you're in Philly right now, you're in Phoenix, Arizona, yeah. Like, no offense, but they don't, they don't cut like that out in Phoenix, so I gotta I gotta get out here and see my man, you know. That's true. When I go out there and be like, I'm from Philly, they be like, oh, oh, hold up. You know what I mean? We got, we know we got to be extra sharp. Interesting plot twist today. Last night, I finally told my mom the deal about me and school and all that good stuff. So she didn't flip out as much as I, I thought she would. She actually just kind of. You know, it was more laid back and kind of told me 
that it was on me. Like, she's just like, you know, this, this is really on you if you want to handle this this way where you feel like you don't want to work. Fine, but, you know, don't come to me when it, if or when it all falls down, basically what she said. Also, she wants me to work, of course, and so she's saying that I should try this out for the summer and then look into getting back into teaching by the fall. I don't want to do that, but we'll see what happens. And she also is encouraging me to try to get back into school and, you know, try to finish up my master's and maybe try to go into administration, which would be a great idea because I don't necessarily want to be in a classroom anymore. So I'm going to look into that. Man. Today, she completely flipped the script on me. I was told her I was about to go to the show. I'm heading to pick up Kate Murdoch. And she tells me I'll be at the show today. And I looked at her like, what? You know, this is one of those record stops moments. What? Because my mom doesn't attend my shows. Like, she really doesn't. She's attended one show of mine. And I had to basically kidnap her. This was in Phoenix. She came out to visit, and I happened to have a show that same night. So I was like, look, I don't have enough time to take you home, so you just got to come with me. She's like, where are you going? And I'm like, to a show. And so I went to a show, and she saw me perform. Not to say that she doesn't, you know, support it, because she tells people about me. But she's just not into that, you know. She feels like, I don't know, I guess if she, she feels like if she supports music full-time for me, then she's not supporting education. And her thing is education. It's the one thing nobody can take from you. And that's a really, really valid point, you know, and I I respect that point too. <clears throat> but at the same time, you know, if you're not happy with something, I don't know, why deal with it? Why when you can try to change it? And if it doesn't work out, you have a backup plan. So that's the way I feel. And it's hard to convince me otherwise, at least right now, because I don't really want to work for anybody else. I'd rather work for myself. So, I don't know. She told me she's going to come to the show, which is really weird. So, we'll see what happens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been struggling for so long. But something keeps telling me Keep on looking up I can find a way If I keep holding on Mama keeps telling me Keep on looking up Even if the clouds go gray And the sun is gone I'll find my Keep on looking up Cause I've been struggling Struggling For too long I'm looking for inspiration to live for sure I'm feeling me Something's got to give, I'm cursing these